Hey guys, Kate here, and welcome back to a Double Tap Show. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new sniper, the Swiss K31. And let me tell you, that thing, it just destroyed the Car 98 meta. Let's talk. So with the launch of every season, the current Warzone meta is in question. But this time around, not only do we have a new map, but also a coup to one of the longest standing metas in Warzone, that being the Car 98. But before we get into it, we are so close to that goal of 200 subscribers. So if you guys can do me a favor and smack me with that sub button as we cover all things Call of Duty, Warzone, and Cold War. Let's get into it. I want to start by saying that I'm not the best sniper around, so the gameplay you're about to see is questionable at best. You've been warned. As always, over here at the Double Tap Show, we believe that the proof is in the pudding. Therefore, I have spent several hours playing snipers only, like a cracked out 12 year old, to max this weapon out to bring you guys the best possible setup. And I'll be leaving timestamps down below for both Cold War and Warzone, as well as a comparison to the Car 98. That way, you can skip around to whatever section you may like. Let's get into it. With the final update of Black Ops Cold War Season 2, we saw at the motion of the HDR by the CRG 20mm sniper. It's faster, more accurate, and it has better bullet velocity. But if you want to catch up on that video, I'll leave the link on the top right hand screen. However, with the launch of Season 3, we see yet another addition to the growing ranks of snipers. This season's offering is the Swiss K31. And unlike the CRG 20mm, that's meant to be this crazy high bullet velocity, super long range weapon, the Swiss K31 is more pulled back, lighter, and a tiny bit more aggressive. And it's meant to be a direct competitor to the Car 98 meta. And spoiler alert, the Swiss K31 outperforms the Car 98 in every single way possible except for one. More on that later. First, let's start off with some base stats. The Swiss K31 is a bolt action rifle with a fast reach chamber speed, the biggest ammo pull out of all the snipers, and the smallest one shot kill potential. Looking at the damage, the Swiss K31 comes in at 110, just like all the other snipers. Moving down to our fire rate, and the K31 has the best fire rate, coming in at 60 rounds per minute. For our TTK, we get a time to kill of 1000 milliseconds in our 2 shot kill range, and 0 milliseconds in our 1 shot kill range. The Swiss K31 falls in line with the M82, sharing the exact same 1 shot kill potential. However, something to sleep on, looking at our range, and the K31 has an effective damage range of 127 meters. And for our bullet velocity, it comes in at the middle of the road with 700 meters per second. Moving down to our handling stats, and the Swiss Cheesecraft 31 has an aimed on sight time of 600 milliseconds. And for our spray now, the K31 comes in at 450 milliseconds. And for our final stat, that being our theoretical time to kill, meaning aimed on sight time plus time to kill, the K31 comes in at 1600 milliseconds in its two shot kill range and 600 milliseconds in its one shot kill range. So what's this gun useful for? Well, essentially, it's Cold War's excuse for the Car 98. In multiplayer, it has the fastest fire rate, but it lacks the aimed on sight time that the Pelanton has. It also has a way smaller one shot kill potential. But if you're accurate and can consistently hit headshots, that faster chamber speed allows you to line up feeds like it's nobody's business. You can easily get through entire teams, especially if you're using the 24.9 inch Tiger Team barrel. This increases our fire rate by 33% from 60 rounds per minute all the way up to 80 rounds per minute bringing that two shot time to kill from 1000 milliseconds all the way down to 750 milliseconds. The Swiss K31 is a surprise weapon, coming out at a very interesting time. It's a bit of an anomaly, and it's the first time that we see back to back snipers being released for the first time ever in Call of Duty history. But let's get into the best class setups for Cold War, and we're going to be starting off with a 24.9 inch Tiger Team barrel, increasing our damage from 110 to 132, and boosting our fire rate from 60 rounds per minute all the way up to 80 rounds per minute. That way, we can hit those feeds, yo. The last thing this barrel is going to do is boost our bullet velocity by 50% from 700 meters per second all the way up to 1050 meters per second. Perfect for 6v6 multiplayer maps. This will come at the cost of one bullet in our magazine. Next, we'll be adding the Stabilizer 308 for a 20% reduction to our idle sway. With no cons, I'm opting out to use this muscle because all the other ones will hurt either our bullet velocity or our aimed on sight time. And that's a big no-no here at the Double Tap Show. For our under barrel, we'll be using the Infiltrator Grip for a 5% increase to our movement speed, aim walking movement speed, and shooting movement speed. Especially that when you're aimed on sight with the Swiss K31, pretty much a statue. Next, we'll be adding the airborne elastic wrap for a huge reduction to our aimed on sight time by 12%, taking our aimed on sight time from that previously stated 600 milliseconds all the way down to 528 milliseconds. This attachment is gonna hurt our sprint to fire time and our shooting movement speed, but the infiltrated grip should soften the blow. For our final attachment, we'll be using the SAS combat stock to recover that 10% shooting movement speed we lost with the airborne elastic wrap, and it will also give us a 15% increase to our aim walking movement speed. That way we're light on our feet. What I've effectively done here is that with the barrel, I've increased the fire rate, the muscle velocity, and the damage. I also gave it a boost to all of our movement speeds with the SAS stock and the infiltrated grip. 
I cut our aimed on sight time by 12% with the airborne elastic wrap and added the stabilizer 308 for a little bit of idle sway control. What about Warzone? Well, for Dance 1984, it's not ready for this loadout, let me tell you. We're going to be borrowing both the airborne elastic wrap and the SES combat stock from our previous setup, and we're also going to be snatching the infiltrated grip for maximum mobility. We're going to be switching from the 24.9 inch Tiger Team barrel to the 24.9 inch Combat Recon barrel, increasing our bullet velocity from 700 meters per second all the way up to 1,225 meters per second. Last, we're going to be taking away the Stabilizer 308 and opting out for the Groove Suppressor, keeping us off the radar and adding a bit more bullet velocity, taking our previously stated bullet velocity of 1,225 meters per second all the way up to 1350 meters per second but we gotta ask again what is this gun useful for well as of right now it's one of the fastest snipers in Berdansk and it packs some serious heat but most importantly it has some of the best bullet velocity in the game allowing you to pick off enemies without having to account for bullet drop or leading the target but how does it stack up against the car 98 well let's go over some base stats both of these snipers have the exact same one shot kill potential only to the head when we look at our fire rate the Car 98 comes out of 54 rounds per minute, and the Swiss K31 comes in at 60 rounds per minute, with the option to go all the way up to 80. For our two shot time to kill, the Car 98 comes in at 1101 milliseconds. Meanwhile, the K31 comes in at 1000 milliseconds, with the option to lower it all the way down to 750. For our range, the Car 98 starts to lag behind at 55 meters. Meanwhile, the K31 doubles that with 127 meters. For our base bullet velocity, the Car 98 comes in at 650 meters per second. The K31 is a hair better at 700 meters per second. For our base aimed on sight time, the Car 98 is fast, I mean really fast, at 367 milliseconds. The Swiss comes in at 600 milliseconds. With all that being said, the Swiss K31 beats the Car 98 in every single area except aimed on sight time. But that's not the full story. You're not dropping in the reskin, I mean new Verdansk, without attachments. For our attachments, the Car 98 most used setup is as follows. The Sniper Scope, the Monolithic Suppressor, the Sangar Custom 27.9 inch barrel, the TAC Laser, and the Sport Comb Stock. Bottom line is that this combination will boost our bullet velocity from 650 meters per second all the way up to 1033 meters per second. Meanwhile, taking the Car 98's aimed on sight time from the base 367 milliseconds all the way up to 433 milliseconds. Now for the K31, if we bring our previous Warzone setup, we have no scope, because it already comes with a sniper scope, the Groove Suppressor, the 24.9 inch Recon Combat Barrel, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the SAS Talk, adding up to a bullet velocity of 1,350 meters per second, and an aimed on sight time of 540 milliseconds. In conclusion, the K31 is just better, except for in the aimed on sight time department but double the range, 30% more bullet velocity, and a free attachment slot, I think that it's well worth a slower aimed on sight time. But now, it's time for me to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of the Swiss K31 sniper rifle in both Cold War and in Warzone? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Again, we are super close to that goal of 200 subscribers, so if you guys would like to be part of the crew, smack me with that sub button, because I would love to have you. As always, a like rating is always appreciated. And that's it for me today. I'm Major Cade, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.